after the demonstration of the first organic solar cell several decades ago, and the first perovskite solar cell, yeah, a little over 10 years ago, we are now at the point where we have a very large and interdisciplinary and diverse community who's working on hybrid photovoltaics, organic and hybrid photovoltaics. And what's this has led to is a lot of breakthroughs in performance. So of course, power conversion efficiency is the parameter that most people focus on for photovoltaics, but there's a lot of other aspects that are very, very important. We focus on one hand on fundamental material questions, um, but also on applied questions related to developing these material systems towards real technologies like real photovoltaic cells. Well, what I would say based on the, on the progress uh, that we've seen over the last couple of years is that our understanding of the fundamental properties of these materials and how to also control these properties via things like chemical structure or composition of the perovskite, these have really, really increased. But it's also given us the opportunity to explore new applications that are possible. So beyond photovoltaics, for example, light emission or lasing, um, and also even towards electrochemical applications. And this is a very, very interesting direction to go into um, because it opens up a lot of new opportunities for energy conversion and storage. Electrochemical energy conversion requires materials that are far more robust. And so one of the things that we've learned as a community is that we really need to improve the stability of the materials and the interfaces. And there's been tremendous breakthroughs in this direction. And so this is opening the door for not just solid state applications, but also these electrochemical applications.